The ATP World Tour's Asian Swing has reached its climax at the Shanghai Rolex Masters. The penultimate Masters 1000 event of the year is one of the most popular stops on the calendar and boasts one of the most impressive stadiums. The undoubted highlight of Monday's action saw Next Generation star Alex Zverev take on American number three John Isner. And after trading breaks early on, it was 21-year-old Zverev who went on the attack. A first meeting between the two, the pair actually know each other well as regular training partners. An aggressive start to the second set saw the German take the initiative again. Oh, it's so good, good agility. Wonderful court coverage from Zverev. I love the No way back from there for Isner. Zverev on his way to the second round. Game, set and match, uh, Terrific six, performance, that. 6 4, 6 2. Dad will be delighted. I did a great job today of, of returning and really putting pressure on him for the first game of the match. So. You know, I was very happy with the way I returned and very happy the way I also stayed aggressive against him. Another next-gen player was in action over on the Union Pay Court with Kyle Edmund on top in the early exchanges against Argentina's Federico Del Bonis. Well, number 46, Del Bonis would level the match up, but with Edmund's principal weapon finding its mark more often than not, the British number two was soon a break to the good in the decider. Edmund. Edmund's star shining ever brighter in recent months. He was on course for win number 18 in 2016. There was plenty of flair on display when Zhao Sosa took on Benoit Paire, the Frenchman's one break enough to see out a keenly contested opener. It's good tennis. Having allowed his Portuguese rival to even the match up, though, Paire would turn on the style in the decider. Oh, it's in! Can you believe it? And set three was seen out for the loss of only one game. Joe Wilfred Songa is back after a left knee injury that put him out of action since the US Open, but there were a few signs of discomfort in this lung-busting rally against Florian Mayer in the evening session. Oh, that's great tennis, what a point. The French number two would have to wait until game eight to get his nose in front in set one. Songa on top and increasingly in control against a player he hasn't lost to in five attempts. Oh, it's so good at the end of his range. Boom! The result never really looked in doubt. Songa making a successful and stylish comeback. It's a nice way to finish. So last year's runner-up gets off to a winning start. This time around. The round one action concludes on Tuesday, and a certain Novak Djokovic is sure to get the Chinese fans at fever pitch when he begins the defense of his title.